The 22 Magnum cartridge offers the Hunter a notable step up in performance from the 22 long rifle. Velocity can increase 20 to almost 50 percent with proportional delivery of energy. There is no great feat to accommodate that in a bolt action rifle or even a revolver. But when you try to make the 22 Magnum operate in an autoloader, life gets complicated. 22 long rifle autoloaders have an operating system called straight blowback. This uses inertia to keep the bolt closed long enough for pressure inside the cartridge case to drop for safe extraction and ejection. That's just fine for the long rifle cartridge, not so much for the more powerful 22 Magnum. That's where the new Savage A22 comes in. It's not modified from a 22 long rifle gun. It uses technology developed in the Savage A17, which was created to tame the screaming 17 HMR cartridge. You might think of it as a centerfire rifle in miniature. A locking lug extends up from the bolt into a recess in the top of the receiver. It holds the bolt forward during the period of high pressure. When pressure has decreased, a cam surface then pulls the lug out of the recess, allowing the bolt to travel rearward, eject the spent cartridge case, and strip a fresh round from the magazine on the return stroke. Using a locked bolt prevents premature bolt unlock, preventing case blowouts and giving you smooth operation. The A22 is equipped with Savage's AccuTrigger. For years, it was thought triggers had to be heavy to be safe. Savage developed the AccuTrigger, a blade in the middle of the trigger, so shooters can have a light, adjustable pull without the fear of the gun firing if it's dropped. For more than 50 years, Savage has assembled its barrels with a lock nut. The barrel is threaded into the receiver until it contacts a headspace gauge. At that point, a lock nut is tightened onto secure barrel and receiver. That means every Savage barrel has the same minimum headspace, and that also means superb accuracy. The injected molded stock is light in weight, resistant to scratches and dents, and most importantly, it'll never warp no matter how wet it might get. The A22 stock has attractive groove panels that help you get a secure grip and a solid rubber recoil pad at the butt. The polymer 10 round detachable rotary magazine remains flush with the underside of the forend. Just to press the catch at its front to drop it out for loading. Varmint shooting is not an activity for iron sights, so the A22 comes drilled and tapped with supplied scope bases. You know, Bob, this sure is a lot of fun to shoot. It's really fast. It is, and a semi-auto comes in very handy in the varmint shooting. You may have a pack of coyotes and you get a chance to shoot at two or three of them. So uh, having that fast follow-up shot comes in handy. And with a 10-round magazine, you're not going to run dry uh, while there's still one out there. That's one of the things I notice. It really does seem like it's great for quick follow-up shots. It is, and that's important in varmint shooting. You may have to shoot them twice, you may have to shoot at uh, multiple targets, so you want to be able to come back, and that's the advantage of a semi-auto over, say, a bolt action. It's also really light as well. It is. When you're plowing through the snow uh, after fox in the winter, you don't want a big load. The A22, the gun itself is light and the ammo is light, so it's not uh, going to weigh you down. That's great. So Bob, there's a lot of great features on this gun. Can you tell us about the trigger specifically? It's the Savage Accu Trigger, which has uh, really revolutionized the way uh, uh, manufacturers make rifle triggers. It's uh, light, it's crisp, it's adjustable by the user, and because it's got that central safety lever, you don't have to worry about it going off if you accidentally drop the gun. We've been shooting this one a lot, and it's also really accurate. Years ago, uh, the 22 mag was kind of thought of as mediocre in accuracy, mm -hmm. but the manufacturers have greatly improved them over the last few years, uh, and it's a legitimate 150-yard gun on uh, varmint species. That's great. Bob, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you. If this is a gun you'd like to add to your collection, go to galleryofguns.com and select the Gun Genie. Just enter your zip code, and the Gun Genie will display a list of Gallery of Guns affiliated dealers in your area with the prices they'll ask for your new gun. Pay with a major credit card and you can be shooting your new choice within just a few days.